and with that, 2024 was my greatest year yet. So there's the story of how I became a billionaire, the CEO of the biggest tampon manufacturer in the world, and front cover of Men's Health magazine 31 times. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Really great. Thank you. Well, there you have it. An inspiring story from Mr. Winthump there. Thank you. Right. Well, let me introduce our next guest speaker, Mr. Derek July. Mr. July is simply a YouTuber who... Oh, wait. What's... Okay. Mr. July is a heroic comic book genius, a successful next-level businessman, a mind-blowingly talented musician, fastest runner in all of America, and an inspiration to children all over the world. Y'all. Okay. Well, let's welcome to the stage. Thank you, my people. My inspirational journey started when I was just a young child. My mother knew I was different, special. You could say I was chosen to be great by a higher power. Some may call it blessed. When I was in the ghetto nursery, the other children would say to me, Derek, you're better than all of us. How do we be great? I have to say I am curious, Rudolph. What's your thinking behind this one? Well, you know, we've already made our fortunes with the invention of the pyramid scheme and I thought it might be time to recruit more potential scammers and con artists into the family, so to speak. I saw the racket this YouTuber had going, and, well, I think he could be nurtured into being very useful. Blah, blah, blah. The hero's journey to greatness is tough, but I'm also tough. I'm a damn tough guy that commands respect. Blah, blah, blah. Please, Rudolph. I don't believe that for a single moment. Real success is in someone's blood, in their genes. They have to be a born natural at these things. You know, given the right surroundings and encouragement, I'll bet that Derek July can run our company as well as your young wind thump. Are we talking about a wager, Rudolph? I suppose you'd think wind thump, say he were to lose his job, would resort to airing out people in a warehouse car park. No. I don't think just losing his job would be enough for Winthump. I think we'd have to heap a little more misfortune on those narrow shoulders. If he lost his job and his home and his fiance and his friends, if he was somehow disgraced and arrested by the police and thrown in jail even, yes, I'm sure he'd take the crime like a fish to water. You'd have to put him in the wrong surroundings, of course, with the worst sort of people. I mean, real scum, Rudolph. We've done it before. This time it's in a good cause. How much do you want to bet? The usual amount? Why not? Yup, 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 coat. Fucking blah. haters! It's the greatest comic ever made! I can fucking write! Oh, you can't write bullshit! I'm the best writer of our fucking generation! These fucking crack smoking white bread <laughs> are just jealous, damn it! Yo, if this was 2018, I'd put holes in these fucking motherfuckers! Pull up, you pussy ass n I'm the greatest! Oh, okay, oh, on second no, thoughts. No. Forget that idea. You scam charity! 3D asset! Your writing's retarded! Oh! I'm a big man. I'm a strong man. I'm a, uh, huh, oh, uh, ha! I'm a fucking powerful man. Get security immediately. Have bring the car around quickly. Y'all don't know who I fucking am. Y'all don't know me. I'm a strong, strong, powerful man. So today I'm proud to tell you that this year, I had one of the greatest honors of my life. Due to my many talents and unsurpassed businessman skills, today I had the privilege of being nominated for the Scamway Young Snake Oil Scam.